Hello? This is a telephone answering machine. Oh, bother. Judith Han is out at the moment. Would you leave a message as soon as you hear the tone? Thank you. Judith, it's me. Um, no, it isn't. Forget it. You've got to be in the mood to get that sort of thing right. Judith, it's me. Ah, uh, no, it isn't. Um, forget it. Yes, most of us find them exasperating. But for anyone who's away from base a lot, telephone answering machines can be invaluable. And if they were cheaper and a bit more convenient to use, more people would decide to have them in their own homes. You'll notice that because Michael hung up so quickly, I've got to play through yards of tape to get to the next message. Hello, Judith. Just to confirm, we are, after all, filming in Norwich on Tuesday. Bye. Bye. The more expensive machines use two tape mechanisms. One is to carry my message, this is a telephone answering machine, etc. And the second tape records whoever's phoning in. Although this class of machine will cost you around £130 or even more. A cheaper method is to use just one tape like this. You record your bit, Judith Ham will be back in half an hour or whatever you want to say, at 30 second intervals all along the track. And then the incoming calls slot in to the 30 second pauses on the same track. But it's obviously extremely tedious when you have to record the same message 50 or 60 times. And it's even more tedious when you want to change that message. But it does bring the price down to about £100 in this case. Anything cheaper has got to be a lot simpler. And in fact, simplicity has been the approach of a British company which decided to build a machine that only answers the phone. This doesn't listen. Now, that may sound ridiculous, but it's possible because this system, surprisingly and conveniently, uses your own tape recorder. It just plugs into the side of the machine, and any tape recorder will do, provided it has a remote stop-start socket. Right, I'll ring up the new machine and see what happens. Now, the electrical voltage on a telephone line is normally 50 volts, and that's shown here on the graph as a straight line. But as soon as I dial my number, once I've done that and it connects up, that voltage falls. And it falls quite dramatically to 10 volts. And straight away that tells the cassette on my answering machine to start answering. world demonstration at the moment. Would you leave your message now, please? As soon as that stops, it turns on the tape recorder, which does mean there's another advantage. There's no 30-second fixed slot here, so the tape will continue to record until I hang up. A definite benefit when I consider the times that I've been cut off in mid-flow, because it always seems that my messages have to be more than half a minute long. When I put down this handset, the voltage on the post office line will drop right down to zero, like that, for just a moment. Then, solid-state logic in the new machine detects that zero and switches off my recorder. Watch. The tape's now ready for the next message, so there are no long pauses to wait through. All my messages are butted up neatly end-to-end, -end, and that's something only the more expensive machines have been able to do in the past. But this new system, which is now waiting for post office approval, only costs £60. Mind you, if you've got to go out and buy a new tape recorder, it'll cost you more. But with a miniature one like this, there is another advantage. You can play back your phone messages conveniently wherever you are, perhaps in a traffic jam on the way home, or while you cook the evening meal, in the bath if that suits you, or in this case, tonight, while Michael gets on with the rest of the programme.